Hi everyone! So today, quick video. Well, I'll try to make it quick anyway. Uh, I'm trying this medium here. Atelier Pouring Medium by Chroma. It's made in Australia and I have already started mixing my paints. I've uh, put a little bit of the medium into a cup uh, to test it out first, see the texture it had. And I saw it was uh, pretty thick. Uh, so I decided to use it with fluid acrylic and high floor acrylics. And I have two fluid acrylics here. I used the uh, golden. I mixed them one part uh, fluid acrylic to ten part medium. And same with my high floor acrylics here. Uh, but even with my high floor acrylics, what I notice is uh, the mix is still really thick. So I'm going to add water and uh, hopefully not too much. I'm going to start adding a tiny bit and I mean even if I add uh, like not enough I'll go with it I'll keep a thicker uh, mix uh, I'd rather have a thicker mix than a mix with too much water in because that would muddy everything Another thing I noticed with the medium is it lightened the colors, uh, especially the fluorescent ones, but that's not new because the fluorescent pigments are quite transparent. It lightens them quite a bit. Yeah, even with the thread acrylic, it's really thick. little at a time and hopefully oh that's much better yeah i'll keep it like that it's still a little bit thicker than what i like but it's much better and it's nicely and stringy so So I added a tiny bit of water, not that much. It's still thicker than I would like. I would say I added about 5% water in my fluid acrylic and a little less in the high floor acrylics. I will let that rest. Let that rest. That's the texture I have uh, to work with now. I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but... It's nice and stringy, a little thicker than I usually uh, work with when I work with GAC 800, but I think it will work. And today I have a, a new um, strainer to try. And I think this one will be interesting. And I, I'll try it with a small cup to start. And maybe next time I'll try it with a large cup. I think this one has a, quite a bit of potential to make two different uh, paintings, either with a large or a small cup because of the slits on the side and the slits on the bottom they're different but I think it's uh, it's gonna be interesting so yeah be back in a bit all right so I have my paints mixed and um, one part paint to ten part medium and then about five percent water in the fluid acrylics um, Phthalo Blue and Vat Orange. I'll put the colors I've used in the description. Um, those are golden acrylics. Um, the medium I've used today is Atelier Traditional and it's made by Coma, uh, made in Australia. 
and uh, it's thicker uh, than uh, the mediums I've used uh, previously. Uh, I added water, but it's still thicker than I would like. Uh, but then I usually might like my mix, but I think it's going to be perfect for this painting. So yeah, let's get started with this. I'll start just by pouring paint around. So when I pour paint in this, it can spread into the paint that I poured around. And to do that, I'll mix all my colors. And make sure I cover my sides. And then I'll just I'll remove this for now. All right, let's pour this here, and um, should I use the same cup? Colors I've, I've mixed a little bit too much in it for my liking, so I'll use another one. This one has dried paint in it, so that's perfect. Now I'm going to pour my paints just to create a little bit of stacks, and then I'll do a flip cup. I'll pour all my blue in there. Hopefully I have uh, enough room in my cup. I think I'll be fine. Yeah, it's gonna be tight. <laughs> Potential for a mess is uh, high here. All right. I'll have to lift the strainer a little bit to allow the paint to flow out of it. Actually, just lift the cup works better. And I'll just keep twisting it.
All right, so I'm sorry. I just noticed that my um, camera aperture were, was set um, way too low. Um, <laughs> I forgot it that way when I took pictures last time. Um, so the painting was way too dark on the camera. Uh, and I realized you couldn't see much of the details at all. But uh, now it's fixed and I'm trying to hide the reflection from the window so you can have a good look at it. I think it's uh, quite something actually. I'm really happy with it and I can't wait for it to dry and put it under a black light. Uh, I haven't done a painting with fluorescent colors in uh, quite a while. And um, well, I thought that the strainer method would uh, really create some nice uh, fluorescent details um, interlaced with the non-fluorescent details. So it's going to glow and make something really cool, I think. Uh, I can't wait to see it. Um, can't wait to see it dry as well. I hope it dries well. There's a lot of paint on there. I will not hide that fact. <laughs> And since it's thicker, it seems to, that it's taking quite a bit for it um, to drip off. I tried to tilt it a little bit without losing uh, my details. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I did as much as I could and we'll see. <laughs> uh, I also quite like uh, the separation between the two coats of paint. Um, in places, it separates really cleanly. But in others, it's really more uh, subtle, like here a little bit, but here it's sharp, here it's sharp. It, I think it gives it a, quite a bit of depth and makes it really interesting because it kind of breaks the flow a little bit and unsettles you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with it. I can't wait to see how it dries. I can't wait to put it on their black light as usual. And yeah, um, let me know in the comments uh, what do you think about this method? The whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I call it the paint bomb because there's a lot of potential for a mess with the flip cup uh, and uh, the strainer, but uh, it's more of a strainer pour just with a twist, literally. <laughs> I mean, I could uh, probably pour and twist the strainer at, at the same time, uh, not use the flip cup, but I feel like the flip cup really um, mixes the colors nicely. It gives it those nice gradient and those soft edges in places, the kind of lacing. Uh, I love this, so uh, I think I'm going to keep doing it that way. <laughs> And uh, if you guys try it out, um, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you have Facebook, join my Facebook group and go post your pictures there. I would love to see uh, you guys try out this method and uh, let me know if it worked for you or if you made a mess. <laughs> so yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video. Bye!